Welcome to Let's Get On With It, Warlock, Master of the Arcane. I, Grimoth, will be your blind commentator as we experience this turn-based strategy game together. This video is part of the Rewarding the Rewarders opportunity I offered last month. Long-time viewers who've donated certain amounts of money may recommend a game for me to play on my channel. Though the offer is not open to anyone else, you may consult the relevant link in the video description to learn more. This game was brought to you by... Cripsen? Cripe? Cyan? That's K-R-Y-P-S-Y-N. And I hope this series will satisfy him more than my pronunciation of his username. Now, I reckon I'm not blind blind about Warlock. Uh, over the months since it's released, I've taken a gander at some videos recorded by Snapwave, who played it blind himself, and Mal Caspia, or Mal, who takes his, who takes the highest difficulty setting on any game and turbocharges it. I'm still most assuredly a novice, though, and I'm sure I'll be making a plethora of mistakes as well as fumbling with the interface. Still, I've played a few strategy games in my day, and I should be able to adapt as I go. Uh, offhand, I bought this game through Gamersgate a few days ago for $4.99 USD. The 75% off sale has since expired, though, and you're currently looking at 20 bucks uh, from either Gamersgate or Steam. I'll provide store links for both on the off chance they prove useful. Now, let's get off this main menu and get on with it. I guess one final thing, uh, bear with me if there's any technical issues. Uh, this is my first time using Camtasia Studio 8. I recorded, I, I upgraded to it from CS7 just a few hours ago, and uh, there seems to be an immense improvement already with uh, games that have like highly advanced 3D engines compared to what I usually record. So uh, I am pleased with it thus far, but uh, there may be some kinks in it. Okay, so five difficulty levels here, ranging from relaxed, casual. <laughs> I see her ears, and I just like, I just want to grab them and rev them like their motorcycle. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I used to do that to uh, some of my mom's dogs back when I was younger. <laughs> We've got normal. I have played a few strategy games in my time. Challenging and impossible. For this game purpose, I have played a few strategy games in my time, so I'm going to be sticking on normal. I haven't read the instruction manual, which I probably should have, so I can understand these four types, but I think they're intuitive. You have like a conquest victory here, and a research victory here, and some other things. World configuration. For my little test game, which was like a few turns I had just to make sure that everything recorded properly, I chose these settings, and I think I'm going to keep them. Medium-sized map, three uh, rival great mages, and two additional mystical world things, which contain, I think, like super powerful resource nodes, but also incredibly tough mythical beings who will raffle pwn you. And our opportunity to pick our great mage. There are several pre-generated great mages, each with their own list of perks and starting spells, starting race, as well as a color on the map. So, Merylbus the Hat, who I think, whose picture we saw right there on the main title screen. He looked pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. Anna the Benign, they each have their own bi uh, biographies too, which is pretty cool. Nicholas Frost, <laughs> who uh, comes across as some sort of Santa Claus type. The Grand Librarian, who looks absurd. El Puris... Il... L. L the Eternal. <laughs> we have the Empress. King Lich the Fifth. Or. Yeah. Something of a mess. Another instance, but the number instead represents how many times he has been resurrected. Oh, okay. It's. I've seen a lot of Lich portraits in my day, and I'm not gonna lie, his doesn't look that impressive. I mean, for a Lich, he doesn't look bad. I. <laughs> It's not the most impressive one. Then we have a uh, creepy motherfucker looking here who is uh, obviously inspired from... Oh, I haven't played Master of Magic enough to remember him. His, he had like some sort of R starting name. It could be his name itself. Rajar or some shit. King Rat. Sol de Torvega. Ashar the Wisest. Pendril, son of Vindril. 
and we're back here. We're gonna go ahead and customize our own, and I really like how Nicholas Frost looks. I mean, the fucking coat and the goddamn beard, man. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. So let's go ahead and customize him. So, we have a different amount of perks here, each with their own variety of goodies that they give you. I really can't give you advice on what you might want to pick. I'm just going to pick things that sound cool to me. So, for example, I want Researcher, so I can research, uh, I'll have like plus three book production, <laughs> and it'll help me research shit quicker. And I like this Instructor ability. I'm, I think what it means is that it gives plus one experience points to each of your units every single turn. On the other hand, what am I going to be relying on the most? For the time being, I think I'll just pick like mana stuff instead. That'll work fine for me. And I can pick an advantage of... I have like two more points. I could pick some lesser spells. I don't think I'm gonna pick any spells. And we'll have a mana vault. Start with plus 100 mana. Mana bucks. There are three types of races in this game, each with their own quirks. Uh, humans, monsters, and undead. Of course I'm gonna be going undead, and I actually like that color, so I'm gonna be sticking with it. So I'm going to be an incredibly intelligent, badass looking, undead using book learning motherfucker. All right, Nicholas Frost. Let us go. Commencing an attack expends all of the unit's remaining movement points. Goody, 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 good. Information to know. All right, let's get started. I also turn my graphic settings down all the way. I mean, I play like freaking Greetings, my lord. ASCII this games for fun. Game. So, you can graphics aren't a big deal for me. Go watch and somebody else's videos if you want graphics. I just want things to run as seamlessly here, as possible. Also open the research window cool the story, screen. bro. So here we are at Evil Lava. And... I'm not gonna lie, there's not a whole lot of lava around here. Let's take a look at what we have. We have some pigs. And... We have a mana trap. I think it's a building. So it's actually nothing to do. Okay. So up here at the top are resources. Gold, food, mana, and research points. Eva lava. In the city view, you can rename your city. I might do to that. Blah blah blah. You can pause if you like want to take a look at that stuff. I'm just gonna I'm just going to leave the tutorial on in the event that I need help. We're going to rename this to Necropolis. Or I could do Santa's Workshop, too. That'd be funny. All right, so we have a variety of things we can pick up here. I like the idea of picking up another warrior here. And... I don't think we really need food for growth here for Undead. It'd be kind of silly. Sounds like mana is the type of thing that we use for army upkeep. Yeah, and not food. So, we don't really need to emphasize food production. We need to focus more on mana production. We have ourselves a mana trap there, although... Picking up a pig farm. We'll sell the extra food for profit. And if I've learned anything over the course of playing various types of games, it's to improve your special resources. Alright. Let's go ahead and explore around here. Now we have Skeleton Warriors unit. Immune to death magic, of course, but they're slightly more vulnerable to life magic. Heavy resistance to missile weapons, which, you know, makes sense. The frickin' skeletons. Of course, you cannot be healed by life magic. Ah, so a healing spell won't exactly be it use here. I'm going to send these guys out into the brave new world and see what's shaking. Gold? Desert hills? Ooh, I might be looting that very soon. I don't have any more movement, do I? Yeah. I don't. Just stand there for now. And 
you guys with three movement points. I think you go ahead and stick near the warriors for now. You guys deal damage in the form of just straight up melee. You're weak to missile weapons. Damage plus 41%. Score. 10 damage by the looks of it. Yep, and they can't counterattack me. Do it. Ah, beautiful. I did slightly more than the projected damage. Here to have four population here. All right, that was pretty easy. And research a spell. My lord, you have opened the research window. No shit. Here you can choose us. So healing through the healing spell kind of not gonna be useful for me. Fortunately, we don't have something like say a shadow bolt, I guess, or whatever the fuck it be called, that I could use on my own troops. I don't really need range resistance on these guys. Ghost wolves could be handy. Wind walking, traverse rough terrain without penalty, and firestorm. Sure, let's go with the big item first. Big ticket item. Big ticket item for big tickets. All right. You may finish. Yes, yes. Cool. I can recruit skeleton warriors. I'm working on it. The number of hexes a unit can travel in a turn. Oh, screw it. I'll let them talk. We're the gonna drink some milk, guys. Its number of movement points and the terrain type over which it is traveling. Flying units may cross almost any terrain without. I don't know. I guess it's because I played a few strategy yes, games in my day, and I've watched little snippets of videos about this game before. I get it. <laughs> All right, I get it. You. Let's loot these desert hills here in the Lost Caravan. Fifty gold bucks. Sweet. Let's go ahead and shoot them again. And I double clicked there and it skipped through uh, the animation. I guess I shouldn't have done that. No, well. It happened. In your turn, have some neutral dudes moving around. So, we have your three other. Can explore new yes. So, we have uh, great mages on the map, our main opponents, but we also have a lot of neutral forces as well, as well as just random monsters like barbarians who are going to mill around. So, I guess we could consider. Neutrals to be city-states you can conquer. I don't really think you can do anything diplomatically with them. Um, the monsters are barbarians, and uh, your great mages, other great mages, are other civilizations. Sounds good, sounds good. I think I'm going to start working on a unit of settlers already. Build myself another city. I'm liking the idea of claiming this gold and these pigs. I don't exactly need the food, but it does get, get converted into money, and that's good. So, um, deselect you. What's going on over here? Those are skeletal dudes. That'll be fun. Gonna go ahead and align all of my forces for a potential attack on the city already. I wouldn't mind capturing a city. Go ahead and move you here. I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys back though, so they don't get attacked by the city. Yes, I'm working at it, I get it. Good, good. Unknown great mage. In order to attack an enemy, your I've unit done it. Must be I get it. It's cool, bro. I played this before. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Alright, the game's got me there. I, I should probably turn it off, but whatever. So next up, I think I like the idea of building... Don't earn that much money from the excess food, but hey, it's a pig farm. It works. Get 
1.5 food bucks for each unit of food I'm selling here. I like the idea of building a smithy. Uh, then I'll work on a harbor, I think. So smithy it is. We'll build that there. You can only build one building at a time. But you can queue up multiple units and it'll cycle through pretty nicely. Okay. Shit. I didn't want to see an enemy. Not before I'm about to uh, organize my great assault. Archers really aren't going to do me much good here, but I'll have them. Uh, just stay there. How do I, like, defend? Defend sounds good. And you... Shit. Just in turn. Go away. Okay. Don't attack me, wolves. Your units may capture cities. Good, good, good. Valuable information, valuable information. Recruiting is complete on these settlers. I don't know what the minimum distance is between, like, city building. Ooh, pumpkins. Uh, so I don't exactly know how far away to build these things. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I'd say I want to build it... I mean, the pigs, I guess, really don't matter that much. I want the idea... I like the idea of having the gold straight up right away. Oof, army upkeep. Because it's costing me mana, so I'm slowly going to be draining my mana reserves now. Until I deal with that, I think. I think. <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> I'll have to take care of that. Okay, let's uh, work on this first. You move there. You move there. And shoot. I think you're doing one point of damage there. Ooh, hey. Not bad. Did some damage both to the defenders and to the city itself. Go ahead and have you move in. You move in as well. You got a mana trap? Okay. Now, he is defending, so it will be hurting me. But I'm hoping, um... How much health do you have? Like, how much health do these units get to begin with? Okay, 27. I'm hoping that, uh, numbers here will, uh, help. And the city can attack, too. I'm still hoping numbers will work. In my favor. In worst case, I'll just... I'll just pull back. Not a big deal. I'm getting my units some experience points, and uh, that will be a useful endeavor. Now you... Oh! Oh! I'm supposed to, like, capture that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's build another one of uh, those skeleton warriors, and I'll have you guys move up to here for the time being. Maybe I'll have them stop here. We'll have some minor overlap, but whatever. That's okay. Don't want your cities too far away. All right, they at they attacked out. Now the city's attacking, but that's okay because you know, I have skeleton warriors. The city's not going to be that effective. All right, weaken them first. A little bit. You got a promotion. Sweet. I'm gonna want you to try to do as much damage as you possibly can. Besides, you've already got good resistances to missile attacks. You're the stronger one here. Uh, 19 hit points. You have 16. Yeah. You'll lead off. And you follow suit. The defenders are not quite dead just yet. That's okay. 
Now, I think Settlers have their own version of hit points, yeah, so... I won't automatically get Raffle Pwned if that wolf comes out for whatever reason. In my turn here. Skeletons attack out. And they fall. City shoots, and it's not In a big their deal. Travels, your troops may find portals to other worlds. To enter a portal. Someone that wouldn't be sorely missed. Right. Can we go ahead and build our city here? Okay. We have founded a new city. Korovalum. Uh, I think we'll rename this to... <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this with, with someone's name who I can't frickin' pronounce, but... Sure. Cripson? It sounds like cryptic, yeah. It works. <laughs> that way, this will give me a golden opportunity to keep mispronouncing his name. It's genius! Insufficient population, insufficient population... Uh, I guess I can't build anything, then. Cool story, bro! For gold. <laughs> Alright, um... What are your resistances at in terms of melee? Jack! I like the idea of you being a stalwart type, even though we're not currently attacking a melee type. I may use you for that in the future. Or, you know, be a front line of some shit. Ooh. We have something up there. We'll worry about that later. Pew Pew the City. Silent Hall. It's nice is that it's undead, too. I don't have to mix and match types just yet. Undead for the Winrars. I think there's also a compatibility issue, like, other races don't flourish as well. Because, well, yeah. <laughs> that was descriptive. Okay. I can build a magic tower. That's like a defensive turret thing. And everything else. Oh, everything. I don't have enough people. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and train some more archers for me. And you guys can head this way. New ratmen have not spawned yet, so it'll allow me to... to whatever, skeleton archers. Against me, not a big deal. They'll prove it right here. Nope, they're not shooting at me. They're shooting at something else. Something I can't see. Go ahead and take down Silent Hall. Critical hit! Nice. Okay. I can select a perk with you. Fine armor. <whistles> can I do that with you? Oh, I can. Can I select a perk with you? Oh, okay. Is it because I built that smithy? That allows me to... Okay. I think I get it, kind of. Yeah, I totally understand. What's our population groove like? Oh, sorry. Mousing over my stuff. No, you see my Jethro Tull folder. No. <laughs> Terrible. How close are you to leveling up? Can I see, like, your experience point counter? Alright, I want you to get the finishing blow off on this thing. Silent Hall. And I think I'm going to call that a video here. 11.6 mana. Yes! And, um... Allow me to check to see whether this video really did turn out alright, and coming back next time, if it did... I'll rename Silent Hall, and we'll keep exploring. Doodaloo. I said... Toodaloo! Stupid hockey didn't work. Camtasia Studio Age?